Let's bring in meteorologist Ryan Shopto takes a look at the remainder of hurricane season. Are we going to get this active season we've been talking about, Ryan? Yeah, wait till the end of this month and early September. That's when things really ramp up and increase. Matter of fact, we've only seen three named storms so far this year. Alex, Bonnie and Colin. And keep in mind, all three of these are tropical or were tropical storms. We have not seen a hurricane yet this season. Next name is on the list, Danielle, Earl, Fiona, and then wrapping up at Walter. Now take a look at where we are in the season. So middle of August is right here. And between now and September 10th, that is the statistical peak of hurricane season. So the next 30 to 45 days, expect things to ramp up, increase in the Atlantic Ocean. Just look how last year played out. So this is the first few months of last year's hurricane season. Only six named storms. And then after August 10th, watch how quickly things unfolded. More storms started to form in the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico. After August 10th of last year, a total of 15 storms for wrapping up the year of 2021. Now this map shows you August and September, Texas landfalls since the 1950s, a total of about 32 landfalls in the state of Texas have occurred in the months of August and September, of which notable hurricanes, Hurricane Harvey, Brett and Allen. And speaking of Allen, tomorrow marks the anniversary, the 42 anniversary of Hurricane Allen making landfall in the lower Texas coast as a category three. So things can get active this time of year. Keep your guard up. We'll keep you up to date with the forecast. We are expecting an above average season in the Atlantic Ocean. But things are quiet now and speaking of quiet, quiet on the roads this time of day, Alana, but things can get a little busy towards five and six o'clock.